Hello, and today we're going to continue with my look at uh, tools for Gua Sha. And so today we're going to have a look at Buffalo Horn tools. And remember to like this video and subscribe if you're not subscribed so that you can watch more of these videos. And let me know what you think of water buffalo tools in the comments. So buffalo horn tools are usually very cheap and easily accessible to buy, certainly on the internet, uh, and are very, very common in China. And so here is a uh, buffalo horn tool here. I've got lots of them, so they come in different shapes and sizes. Like that, and like this, and even like this. And generally they're going to be yeah, in black because uh, that's the colour of um, the tool when it's been polished. And so um, why do uh, they use um, buffalo horn tool for washa in China? So um, the actual uh, nature of buffalo horn is part of traditional Chinese medicine. Uh, and it's used as a herb uh, internally. Uh, and it's, it's kind of crushed up and uh, made into Chinese herbal medicine. And it's generally used to treat uh, things like cooling your blood, um, treating a headache, especially when uh, it's, it's due to a change in the weather, and for dispelling heat in the body. So with Gua Sha, we're not actually uh, ingesting um, water buffalo horn, you're actually using it as a tool. So this doesn't really apply to what we're doing with uh, gua sha. So what's a water buffalo gua sha tool made of? Well, it's made of four ingredients, carbon, nitrogen, sulfur, and oxygen. And these are packed into really dense layers of fibers. So it, it's creating a tool which is very solid and through its polishing process where it finishes the tool, that creates a hard surface which is extremely tough. And so this is why it's so widely used as a gua sha tool. So if you buy a, a water buffalo tool, first of all you've got to make sure is it a water buffalo tool because there are plenty of uh, resin or plastic tools which are made to look like water buffalo. So uh, that's an issue first of all. And how do you know? Well, you don't if you're buying on the internet. Um, and, and generally if it's extremely cheap, then it's going to be an imitation. So with water buffalo horn, there are all kinds of shapes and sizes of the tool because um, when the, uh, the bone is heated up, then it can be sliced. And so it's sliced into any shape you want. So there's a bit of a downside with, uh, with these tools. They can't really be cleaned properly. If you're using it for yourself, it doesn't really matter. But if, if you're using it professionally, it's a bit more difficult really. Because over time, cracks will appear in the surface of the tool. It will bend if it's left in water too long because it's a natural material. Um, and um, it deteriorates quite quickly. So they're not tools that you want to use over a long period of time and certainly not professionally. But if you, if you want a gua sha tool and you want a cheap one, then it's absolutely fine, certainly to use it on yourself. And you just have to make sure that the tool comes with the requisites for safe gua sha, and that is the sides of the tool should be smooth and not too sharp uh, in, in any angle of the tool. Uh, and if that's okay, then the tool's fine. If it is too sharp or it's, um, um, if the sides are not smooth, then it's no great tool. That's the general rule to apply to any tool anywhere. 